You're such a girl. That's a good Aurora. You're such a puppy. What's it trying to do? <laughs> you legit? You legit? You legit? You legit? <laughs> well. Did your step in dog poop? Nope. She already killed it. Yep, she popped a hole in it. Oh no. Yep, that ball didn't last long. No, you know why it didn't last long? It wasn't hers. It wasn't her fault. It went rolling across the road. I need a new one. Go kick it, buddy. There you go. <laughs> what is going on, y'all? Glad to see everybody again. Kind of, sort of. I know it's been a little bit since I made a video for you guys, but it's a nice day. I figured I'd hop on camera for a little bit while I had a little bit of free time. So, for those of you that know me, I'll just be honest, I probably change vehicles more than some people change their underwear. Or more than the average human to change their underwear, but I digress. But out of all the vehicles I've owned, I really believe this is my first Honda. Which is another sad thing, because I, I can't recall if I've owned a Honda previously, but I really don't think I've owned a Honda before. So this will be my first Honda. And... I'm just going to give Eric the car guy the blame for this one because he got me into this particular Honda. It is an 04 Honda Element. The EX model. I really didn't know much about these vehicles. I know Honda only made it for so long. Uh, 2003 to 2011. And they really didn't do a whole lot with the Element in the whole time it was in production. I think it, it got a facelift around the... 08 model year and that was about it so like I said this is the EX model uh, all the Honda uh, elements were four cylinder mine is the five speed manual all drive you'll have to forgive me it's a little messy in here I finally got Williams car seat in this vehicle uh, I think we've had a, his car seat in the Prius once just because with the whole uh, COVID-19 pandemic going on, I really have been trying to avoid taking them anywhere if I didn't have to, just because I felt like it was uh, unnecessary exposure risk. So yeah, um, we actually kind of went on a family drive yesterday for the first time in a while, so it's car seats back in there. Anyway, I digress. Um, so back to the Honda Element. This is... To me, it's just one of those really quirky cars, and I think Honda's and Toyota's both, I mean, if you think of GM's uh, Aztec, I guess that was it's a quirky a car. Nice but, it's yep, a yeah, it is a very nice car, buddy. Yeah, William's actually kind of talking more a little bit, so that's pretty awesome. But it's just, to me, it's just a quirky car, but it's kind of a cool car because, I mean, it is a little four-cylinder. But yet, it's pulling this big old box with an all-wheel drive. And it's quirky because this vehicle only holds four people. I think it's one of the reasons why the Element didn't do very well or didn't last very long. I mean, it's not like a five-speed, a five-person vehicle or, you know, a third-seat vehicle or a third-row vehicle. But when it lacks four people carrying the ability, you can actually haul a lot of cargo on this thing for two reasons. Um, both of these rear seats, all four seats actually, will lay flat, completely flat. But these two seats, you can either completely remove, or you can lay them flat and fold them up against the wall. And the entire floor is made out of this final polyurethane? I keep forgetting what it's called. Now, the, there's a there's a misnomer. People think the, the, the element is one of those vehicles you can wash out with a garden hose. I would not recommend that. Just because the elements do not have floor drains. So if you stick a garden hose in here, it'd be very easily easy to flood it. And yeah, water and electronics don't mix. So, do not wash out a Honda element with a garden hose. But, like I said, it is a unique vehicle, but it, it's got a lot of quirks. Like, 
some people call this like a, a drawback, but uh, you get into the back seats through these half suicide doors. But the front seats, the seat belts to the front seats, are back here on the back door. So it's just interesting. And if your back seat passengers want out, you actually have to open up the front door first and then the back door. But the, I guess the one advantage to that is you don't have a giant B pillar. Um, I guess the B pillar is actually taken up inside the doors. Watch out, William. Give you guys a view of the back. I want to. I might uh, show you how at least one seat goes up if you guys want. But here's a view of the back seat. Like I said, this isn't like a retracting sunroof. It just pops up. Um, I just tell myself, think of like those sunroofs that or the little roofs that you see on the old Nissan Pathfinder where they just basically pop out a little bit. But still pretty nice. I mean, like I said, it's. It's a quirky vehicle, but I think I, I'm, I'm enjoying this more than the Prius, honestly, just because it's bigger, it's roomier. Yeah, I lose a little bit in the gas mileage, but it's more fun to drive thanks to the five speed. And I have all wheel drive to help me out too. So we'll pop the hood, I'll show you guys the engine. And the one thing I like about this over the Prius, Give me a startup for you guys. I actually have working AC in this vehicle. The Prius, the AC, it would blow, but it's just gonna blow cold. So it's always disappointing in that. But it's just got all sorts of weird, like, tubby holes and storage options, like you got door pockets. Um, you got the glove box, of course, and the little tray over here, and then uh, the little cubby hole up here. So, yeah, like I said, I'll pop the hood, show you guys that, and probably demonstrate the back seat for you. And we'll call it a day on this video. I forgot my keys. A little trick. These Honda Elements, they're kind of known for having hood latch problems or hood cable problems because they're designed to be pulled straight out. But a lot of people look at these and think it's like a lift lever. And I think that's how they've been broken a lot. So. Now I'm step hold the camera while I raise up the hood. Of course. So I have arms. Well, like you said, I helped you. You, or you helped me, so I'm I'm returning the favor. So this is the Honda K series of uh, 2.4 four cylinder. I know that the CRVs and the Elements ran this engine. I believe some of the Honda Accords did too. Um, I'm not sure. I'm I'm not like super knowledgeable on the Hondas, to be quite honest. So feel free to chime in if you know of other car models that that engine has been in and this has got to be the smallest battery i've seen i mean look at this thing I, i'm not sure if it's if it just looks small like if it is physically smaller if it just looks small yeah that's a that's a little 500 cca battery that somehow turns this thing over but yeah so like i said i think i'll pop in the back and Show you guys the Bedroom. back seat and how it pulls up. I'm just gonna do the one side because William's car seat's on the other side. Watch out, buddy. So just to, you don't have to pull the seat forward. I'm just going to, so I give myself a little bit more room to get back here because I'm a bit on the taller side. So you want to take off the take off the headrest first, and I believe you just push that tab in that my finger's on, and it releases the headrest. I'll just lay it down here, and you want to take this lever. You pull this up, 
And you push the, the seat back. I'll have Steph hold the camera again on me while I do that. If I don't fudge it up. Hold on, there you go. So you basically pull this, push this, and you let that go, and I'll lock the sheet horizontal. It's all the way down now. And there's a yellow strap down here, down where my hand's at. Okay, I see it. You pull that, that releases the latch from the floor. You're gonna lift the whole sheet up. And there's a carabiner. I'm gonna have to show you guys. I call it a carabiner. I'm not sure what the proper name for it is. It's tucked in down here. And you basically open the, it's, you know, a little carabiner. You open it up and you clip it over here to the uh, side. And then you just smack this down. It collapses like that. I'll have Steph hold the camera again while I latch it. Just like that. Yep. And as you can see, I mean, that's just one seat up. This other seat does the same thing. It's just William's seat is over here. So, yeah. I forgot to show you guys in case you were wondering. The element has, I guess they call it a clamshell back. So, you open up the top like so. And to release the lower half. Safety first. Put it on your seatbelt. The only thing that can't have really have a seatbelt is with Aurora. Yeah, but she does alright. I just try not to slam her around too much. And don't leave home without your face masks. At least in Colorado. I'm pretty much required to wear one at work and almost everywhere I go to get stuff or pretty much all my errands. Pretty much it's now required that I have a face to face mask, so mine pretty much doesn't leave my car. But if it helps me avoid getting somebody else sick or potentially killing somebody else, I'll wear the mask. Back to the car. I actually like driving this thing. It's just so weird hearing this hearing the little four cylinder. You hear the four cylinder in this and you're thinking, you know, okay, a four cylinder, but this isn't like a little four cylinder civic. It's a big all-wheel drive box. That's the best way I can put it. And we all, the radio works awesome in this thing. Yeah, it does. Yes. My honey bear likes this country music. I like all kinds of music, don't I, babe? Yes, you do. But yeah, this thing's really not that bad to drive. I kind of enjoy driving this more than the Prius, to be honest. But, and the um, Prius made us feel small. It sure did. It's, this isn't a truck, but we'll take it. It can almost be used as a truck, as much cargo as you can haul in this thing. The fact that you, know, you don't have to worry about messing up the floor. Alright guys, I'm going to close it out here. Just had to go for a little spin. and Guess I guess a snack. I don't really count that as dinner. But... Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will talk to you soon. And just one more message for you guys. I know we got this whole pandemic going on, and I know everybody's got their, seems like almost everybody's got a different opinion about everything. Just the only thing I can say is, yeah, we all have our opinions. We're all entitled to them. Just, you know, let's just all try to be kind to each other and not cut everybody down over, you know, silly stuff and just... You know, I mean, this is America. I, I, I personally feel like we've got a lot more bigger problems going on than just some of the little trivial things that's going on nowadays. So just be kind. You only got one life to live. And just cherish it the best you can. We'll talk to you guys soon.